Freddy, welcome. Yay. Good morning. Good, Good morning, everybody. Yes, welcome to Murphy's Magic Mess. It's a very special mess today. It's the Murph Day Show. Oh. Yeah, that's not quite that's worthy. It's Murphy's birthday. Yes. It's yeah, the Murph it's day. not quite worthy of a of the pen jar, I suppose. Close. Since it is true, it true. is Murph's day. It is Murph's day. Uh, actually, about a week or so late, yeah, but hey, with the with, with the, the jazz, blowout, yeah, the blues yeah. blowout, we gotta you know go yeah. along with what we've I've got. got a, I've got a very strange mix of things set up for everybody, and that's We're new. We're going how? from <laughs> pagan folk to metal. Like Sounds I said, about that's right. new. How <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more metal than I've been using. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Going to have some fun next week, too, but we're going to yes. focus on you this week. That's going to be Phil Day. Yeah, yes. ne- next week is going to be Phil's birthday show. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I might even have an interview. <gasps> oh, heavens. Good. Because you know, there are two Pagan Pride Day events in Nebraska this year. Uh huh. Yes, that's right. I need to. There wait. is one on Saturday the 21st up in Omaha, and there's one on October something 20th, I believe it is. We'll that's get the exact date. Right. Out in Kearney. You. Uh, and I know um, I've posted it on, I've posted the event, the Facebook event on the Murphy's Magic Mess page. Yes, for both of them. And yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to go to the Omaha one. I'll be in Denver. I won't be oh here my. even. Oh, well, anywho. How's that going in Denver? I have a memorial service to go uh, to. My uh, founding high priest of the tradition I'm from uh, passed away earlier this year. Oh and yes, to make it a little bit more financially easable. Easable? 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 Is that a word? It's a word. It makes, uh, for it makes everybody. Sense uh, we uh, decided that we were going to wait till Mabin, so we're going to do that. And Murph's got to go answer the phone, so we're going to dive right on into some more music. We just had Scott D. Davis uh, with Positive Attitude, so we're going to go into Peter Sterling with Isle of Light.
yes. that was pretty. Very, some very wonderful music this morning. We got, well, it's it's a new month. That was mm-hmm. uh, the new music. James Sarah. James Sarah, yes, with his uh, Day of Celebration. Gee, why would we pick that? Why would I pick Day of Celebration Gee. when we're celebrating someone's day? <laughs> Gosh. And that was off Every of day is someone's day. Reality Pretty of much, the yeah. fantasy. Yeah, I have a few fantasies, but they aren't real enough yet. Okay. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> We had Starbucks Landing by Shambu off of Dreaming of Now. Because Verp likes want, coffee. Do we want the coffee or do we want the Viper? I don't Battle know. Star I don't. Galactica. Okay, from the original Battlestar Galactica, when I was growing up, I wouldn't have minded having drinks and a cigar with uh, Starbucks. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Talking about fantasies, right? Okay. okay. All right. We. Uh, Whenever my five-year-old is in the room. <laughs> which is why I smacked my <laughs> hand and moved right along. Well, I was thinking of very nice gardens and a, a, a clean house and, you know, somebody to sit on the front porch and drink coffee with. Oh, there you go. You know, just friends. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> so what else did the we hear? The clean yard and the clean house I don't have yet. <laughs> Peter Sterling with Isle of Light started off that set, and that was off of Twilight Serenade. And we're we're going to switch gears. We're going to switch gears. Yes. Oh, yes, we're going to do some African hornpipe. Yes, that is Wouter Kellerman from Nzanzi. And it's kind of it's it's very upbeat, and then we're going to follow it up with some jazzy stuff by Luis Coliana and. Or do we want to do bottom of the hour break right now? Yeah, we'll do something somewhere. Well, we'll get things done. We will. How about Wouter bottom of the hour, Luis? Okay. Okay. I can dig it. All right. Ahem, 
You're listening to KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD. This is 89.3 on your FM dial, and we're 35 years old. We've had a few ups and downs, suffered a few setbacks, have had many victories. And like we all do, we grew up. Sort of. Being totally adult is no fun. Something's happening here. But it is ain't exactly clear. You, the community, give us your constant emotional and financial support, and we love you for it. Together, we are going to be around for a long, long time. Thank you. You're listening to KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD, where we enjoy the freedom of running barefoot through the grass, only to discover they have a dog. The Cat House, located at 1935 Q Street, is the Lincoln community's nonprofit, no kill alternative to traditional shelters. It also provides additional feline rescue and adoption resources and services. Each cat or kitten who is brought into the cat house is checked by a veterinarian for fleas, worms, etc., and tested for disease. More importantly, before they are eligible for adoption, they are spayed or neutered, receive vaccinations, and are microchipped. Find out more at 402-441-9593 or on the web at thecathouse.org. Humankind's oldest lasting relationship outside our own species, and perhaps even within it, is with the domestic dog. On K9360, we pause to take a look around, to consider the concentric circles of home and family, neighborhood and community, and explore how dogs create and reflect our values and ideals, and our conceptions of the good life and the good state for dogs and People. I'm your host, Jill Morstead. Join us on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 for K9360, Lincoln's only radio program that talks dogs. Owning and living with a dog is an active, evolving, and sometimes challenging process. Here on K9360, we'll consider those challenges in creative, proactive, and informative ways aimed at creating community conversations about the changing role of dogs in the human family. Community, conversation, and K9360. Join us on Wednesday evenings. You won't want to miss a thing.
look. I like ooh, that. Ooh, that was pretty. Yeah, that was a fun that one. Little fun one. Voodoo yeah. Vito. Yes, from David Vito Gregoli. Yes. And he he's uh, he's tied with another one of our favorites whose name is escaping me at the moment on the uh, ZMR report. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Unfortunately, tied at like fifty third place, but that's overall for the year, I believe. Ah. Well, that was off of his primordial sonnet. Yes, CDs. and before that, we ramped it up, or we had ramp it up, with uh, Louis Coliana off of his The Next Stage, and he's one of those that has a very unique spelling to his name, and it's not said the way it's spelled. Yep, gotta love that. <laughs> but uh, Wouter Kellerman, it actually is spelled the way that you would think if you're German, uh, right. gave us African hornpipes from Mzanzi. Which is a, a wonderful mix of musical styles. Mm-hmm. I'd I, li- I enjoyed that when I uh, reviewed that CD. That's, yep. that's definitely a keeper. Yeah, I popped it into my uh, computer the other day just to give it a listen and uh, you know start plotting and planning next week's show. And I didn't get any plotting and planning done, but I got some cleaning done. Yeah. It makes yeah. you w- get up and move. And, well, yes. usually at home when I get up and move, it's let's clean. Mm-hmm. You want to come to my house? Want to come to my house? We'll play we'll music play for music. you. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, chances <laughs> are if I went to your house, Murph, I'd probably be sitting there going through the music and going, ooh, I want. I'll, ooh, I'll, I'll want, feed you. Ooh, I, I want. make a kick butt meatloaf. Uh, I've had some of your cooking before. It is very good. Why, thank you. But in fact, for, for Mabel. When you can find some free time in my schedule, <laughs> you know, 40-plus hours at Bill's paying job cash, and all you know, that. Cleaning. Yeah. Just bring your music and your headphones. There you go. Yeah, I don't think my back would like but that. But yeah, for Probably for uh, for <laughs> Maybon, my circle traditionally does what we, we call the goddess food ritual, where each person brings a different course in this, like, seven or eight course meal, and it's dedicated to a different... Well, you, we, you keep the portion small, Phil. And, it's de- and each course is dedicated to a different aspect of the Lord or Lady or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, the appetizers is the... Four directions, mm-hmm. and you try to incorporate that into the four. Holy guacamole! I should I should into, <laughs> into, into the four. Well, like well, no. The first time I did this, the guy who was the four directions appetizers brought chips, salsa, nacho cheese, and bean dip. The chips were for earth, you know, ye creatures of grain and salt. The salsa was for fire. The yeah. nacho cheese was for water because it's liquid, and the bean dip was for air. Eventually, for obvious <laughs> reasons. <laughs> eventually, egg and humor. Oh yes. Oh. And, you know, the, the maiden is the salad because it's crunchy, green, raw vegetables that have, haven't have been, you know, Oops. haven't been cooked, haven't been processed as much, shall we say. And then the mother is the main course, which, yes, that's the most work, but such is the lot in life of the mother. And the crone is the dessert because, you know, I associate grannies with sweets, you know, sugar cookies and apple strudel and kolaches. And double and dutch chocolate. And there you go. And then if w- and then we also we added a few years ago god bread. You know, we thought we thought we'd we'd invite the gods some nice phallic cornbread or something like that. <laughs> or, you know, challah. Um and we also have the dark moon soup we've added for another for another course. And black bean soup. Someone actually did do black bean soup. I did French onion the first time cuz onions are very lunar. Uh-huh. And you know, you put in that nice dark broth. And then we've also have uh, you know dish diva is another some something that someone can sign up for. That one's pretty obvious. They're the ones that do the dishes afterwards. And and I would and, and, not and be the volunteering rit- for that. And one. the ritual is sharing and eating all these wonderful foods and invoking the different aspects of the Lord and Lady and the four directions as we sit and enjoy our feast. So while I'm out in Denver remembering Papa. Mm-hmm. You're going to be sitting around the table gorging yourself. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> of course, there's going to be plenty of food while I'm out in Denver, too, I'm sure. Well, you know mm-hmm. that uh, Coca Zell makes uh, anything a zucchini can, and it's awfully good raw. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I well, say, I, I'm, I, I, chose, I, chose, I chose the maiden this year, so. And I'm well, going I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be doing BLT salads. Uh, well, you can yum chop yum. some up and put it in there. There you go. Mm-hmm. Might it's do good that. Good raw. Yeah, but I got, when you sent that Cocozelle home with me, I went online and I'm yeah. like, you know, I posted to Facebook going, I've got this you huge Cocozelle, what am I going to do with this? And then, woo, everybody making suggestions. I'm like, that sounds good, that sounds but good, that sounds good. I, Lasagna. I, in- I inherited a, uh, 
electric skillet from my sister who moved to Kansas City recently, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it's been in the cupboard for several months, and I discovered it the other day, and I've been making everything in that thing. Yeah, they I, are I, did fun. A, I did a roast the other day. I did latkes. I did. <laughs> I did burgers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I might. I might take that cookazelle, slice it up, bread it up, and fry it in that cornbread. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fried yeah. cookazelle. Mm -hmm. That's or the little. Um, Okay, so anyway, now yeah, that Yeah, we're all getting hungry, hungry yeah. and yes. we are moving Everyone's into hungry. the second hour here soon, so we should probably get yes, going. Some of my choices, and I'm sending some of them out in the later part to my friends down in South Lincoln and yes. North or South. Uh, West Lincoln and mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. but but either way, you, we we, ce we celebrate Maybon with food because it's the harvest. It is kind yes. of the pagan Thanksgiving. It is celebrating abundance. It is thanking the gods and the goddesses for abundance, and so for let's have an abundance of music then. Okay, okay. We all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain. Drop of rain flowing 
within the leaf I'm the voice within the tree I am boy, I am man The face of the changing land And I have been your constant guide From your caves on the mountainside We have walked hand in hand And everywhere that I have been My passing turns to grey to green The birds sing to the dawn And the land has awoken And oh my lady lays with me And our love weaves a tag of tree fallen leaf the time of the winter queen but through the wind and snow and rain know that a part of me remains holly stands ever Broadcast of this program is made possible by the members of KZUM. Member support is critical to the success of the station. For more information on membership, call 402-474-5086. 
KZUM welcomes comments or suggestions from our listeners. If you would like to share your thoughts with us, call the station during business hours at 402-474-5086, visit kzum.org, or write to us at kzum-fm at 3534 South 48th Street, Suite 6, 68506. Can you dig it? This is KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD. Stop. Don't dig that hole until you call Diggers Hotline by dialing 811. When digging or disturbing the soil anywhere in the state of Nebraska, even if it's in your own backyard, you must first call Diggers Hotline by dialing 811. It's the law. The service is free and it's simple. Protect yourself, your family, and your pocketbook. Call Diggers Hotline at least two business days before you dig. Call Diggers Hotline by dialing 811. Ebenezer was a farmer, but he could not farm too good. Anybody's crops failed, you could bet Ebenezer's wood. Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Bertine. Join us every Wednesday right here on KZUM for How's It Growing from 11 till noon. It's a live call-in talk show dedicated to answering your gardening questions. That's How's It Growing every Wednesday from 11 till noon. Kick back for an hour of armchair gardening with us here on KZUM Lincoln. Right in my squash will squeeze you too. Don't know what I'm going to do. seen that on the winds of morning on rosy clouds of dawn I've seen them fly and I have seen them their eyes dark with firelight their wings flashing sunlight across the sky don't talk to me of reality don't talk to me of lies if all you saw were clouds across the sky I have heard them in the silence of moonlight In the calm of first daylight I heard them sing And I have heard them Telling riddles and mysteries Legends and history Their voices ring Don't talk to me of fantasy Don't talk to me of truth If all you heard was rain upon the roof And when I'm sitting old and grey the fireside at home I'll remember the beating of their wings and walking over mountain slopes dreaming and alone I'll hear in my head the strange sweet songs they sing I have watched them Landing on mountain slopes Sitting still as statues carved from gold And I have watched them Prouder than eagles More powerful than elements Strange and old Don't tell me I'm imagining Don't tell me that I'm wrong if you have never heard a dragon song and When I'm sitting old and grey by the fireside at home I'll remember the beating of their wings And walking over mountain slopes dreaming and alone Strange sweet songs they sing I have met them On many a long journey Throughout 
without a long apprenticeship to learn my skill. I have met them and recognized my family. Poetry and mythology, they're living still. Don't talk to me of scientists, don't tell me that they're right. If you have never seen a dragon flight, if you have never seen a dragon. A tree and an open field, branches reach for the soul. We're the green of a thousand leaves, and a world that has just begun. Oh, the springtime is here again, buds and blossoms abound, promises of future days. A new life that is all around See the last leaf shivering As the winds did blow Holding tight to what she knew Fear of the She could never deny How she loved her home up there In between the earth and sky Still to drift on a summer breeze Was to taste paradise But that summer would turn to fall and the autumn will turn to ice See the last leaf shivering As the winds did blow
shall sing of Avalon, apple trees and ruby wine, of running streams and sacred wells, the fragrance of the purple tide. Taste the nectar of the wild rose, catch the flame of paradise, feel the warmth of the rising sun as I dance the dance. Of summer lands. Lie, la 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 Mad may 
shakes the bells, the ringing rides to the door and disappears. Mad Maid's laughing, asking, singing, does anyone have ears that hear? Sat on a creek and pondered while the alder tree is strong. Raven's head flew off and wandered, singing stories and telling songs. Fire in the head of a flame and motion, fire in the head of a sword that's sharp. Fire in the head of a drop in the ocean, a shield and battle and a string and a harp. Fire in the head of an eagle soaring, fire in the head of a spoken word. Fire in the head of a As your head back slowly slips The finest wine will around you bind As it tingles on your lips The dawn will glow, the cock will crow But you'll never hear that call Tis the finest it means what you ever have been So you may not leave it all Turn your head to go over your shoulder Tell me now, what do you see? Buildings of man in a nameless town In 
Enchantment of the Gentry, Woo-hoo. yes. And uh, if you met the girl in green, usually in the old songs, uh, some of the older folk songs, and I mean old ones, not uh, 1900s, but uh, 1500s mm-hmm. and beyond, <laughs> and the old stories, too, of both England, Ireland, and Scotland and Wales. If you met someone in green... Be uh, careful, be very careful, because they were more likely one of the fey folk. Or a gazelle. Uh, mm, <laughs> gazelles <laughs> could be, but they were f- sort of like Italian. Oh, okay. Almost every culture Werewolf. has its yes, version see. of the fey folk yes. anyways. Mm-hmm. So, and what we just last heard, of course, was one of those warning type songs, Enchantment from Uffington Horse. Thank you very much. And before that, we had Fire in the Head, Emerald Bend- Rose. Yeah, Bending Tradition and The Hall of Gwyn by Jana Runnels and Katrina Brown from their Lady of the Lake. We had some Blackmore's Night with The Last Leaf from their Autumn Sky and Anne Lister with Dragons from Spreading Rings. Which is a favorite, favorite of mine. And a little antlered crown and standing stone by Dave the Bard from the CD of the same name. And we led that all out with Goddess from the Chorus of Life, Gaia's Voice. One of the ones where I wore out a tape and got the CD. (laughs) (laughs) And now now she's in the process of wearing out the CD. Well, now I've got it on my computer where it hopefully will be safe for a while. But I also have it on a thumb drive as backup. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh. Wonderful, wonderful music. Yes, and we're going to go to uh, something a little, little bit different. This is someone I bought on a chance because it just looked interesting, right? They were called the Bringers, and they're Celtic. But I don't know if they're American Celtic or Irish Celtic. We would have to ask Lady Susan. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sure she would know. I'm not sure she would because I've never seen them. I bought them on chance on Amazon. And I haven't been able to find them since. And this has been seven, eight, nine years. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can come up with for you. Yes, I come up with bringers, but there's not the same group. Hmm. So here we're going to have a little Irish Saturday night. And then we'll see Visit the Water Boys, and then we'll visit a little metal. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Happy birthday, Murph. Yes. <laughs> Set with a sigh, hadn't been for the rooms, had his other eye. I did a die, did a die, did a day. I did a little die, did a die day. I died, I did a die, did a day. From the naked up, did a do die day. Brian Baru on Irish ground, walked three times. Another Irish Saturday night. I did a night, did a night, did a day. I did a little night, did a night, day. I did a night, did a day. From the Lincoln up, did a road, I day. I said the lady dressed in green. She went down underneath the hill, came back out of her own free will. I did a die, did a die, did a day. I did a little die, did a die day. I die, die, did a die, did a day. Fall the naked up, did a do die day. I said, Luke, on the banquet night, a poet and a player. Good wheelwright, a harper and a warrior, and none the least, a druid, and he got into. 
to the feast. I did a
You are listening to KZUM Lincoln. KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD. KZUM.org. 89.3 FM. The coolest radio station in the world. Your community radio station. KZUM. Don't go anywhere, man. Just weld the dial to the zoom. We're listening to KZUM Lincoln. KZUM Lincoln and KZUM Lincoln. KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD. You're listening to KZUM Lincoln and KZUM HD. Your community radio station. 89.3 on your FM radio dial. Support for programming on KZUM is brought to you by Rivers Metal Products, supplying Lincoln and surrounding communities with all types of metal and metal fabrication services since 1967. For more information about Rivers Metal Products, call 402-466-2329 or visit riversmetal.com. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. On KZUM, we like to say that we are the heartbeat of your community. If your community includes everyone regardless of their gender or sexual identity, then listen to Lavender Hill. Corwin and Phil bring you news views, interviews, and music every Sunday from 11 a.m. till noon on 89.3 FM KZUM.
It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. Let's celebrate. Hip hip hooray! We'll gather around and sing a tune with funky tales on the balloons and gobs of frosting. Get a tummy ache. Cause if you were not here, the world would shed a tear. Especially this little pink fairy. If you were never born, so many hearts would be forlorn because you are loved so very, very. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Hello, Sissy.
surprise. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, Brian Boru. That was all one song. Yes, <laughs> by uh, Krishtan. Uh, usually they go metal a little bit earlier, but I liked this one because it gives you this it was nice, a nice fusion. Nice traditional and then mm -hmm. wham. <laughs> D wham is right. And that's <laughs> off of their CD, uh, Toi Na Gale. T U A T H A. Na okay. Gale. And uh, we're going on. I want to set you up right. This is a nice visual. There's a king, and he has a problem with a dragon. Oh, goodness. And he decides he's going to send his legion of darkness, his very best soldiers, out to take care of this dragon. Unfortunately, the dragon is not cooperative. <laughs> well, do, do you blame the dragon? No, if but you that's... Had, if you had a bunch of stupid knights heading towards you, wouldn't you fight for your life? That sets you up for Nox Arcana with their legions of darkness and then 57 seconds of the dragon's answer to the legion of darkness. Oh, goodness. Have fun.
was brillig and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borogoves and the mome rats outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. Rested he by the tom tom tree and stood a while in thought. And as in nuffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the turvy wood and burbled as it came. Snack, he left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. Oh, hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, fractious day, Kalu Kale, he chortled in his joy. Well, I suppose we can let you talk after I figure out where you're at, Damon. Yeah, Here we go. We all wonder where I'm at. Don't Damon we? is just golden. Well, you've gone crazy with the rest of us, but that's besides the point. I am just I happen to be in the same physical location for once. Yes. yes. Damon yes. stopped in unexpectedly with some gifties for, for, for the, the Murph. Murph. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. Thank you, Damon. Happy, happy Murph Day, Murph. No. Yeah. Two gifties and a return of a bunch of stuff. Yes. There you go. <laughs> it was, on this joyous occasion, I wanted to remember my duties and, and pay homage to... to uh, and and, Mama and, pay dragon, tri- and pay so. tribute to the Mama Dragon. Yes. Mm-hmm. It is, so it is wise and intelligent. S- that so she doesn't send somebody like old Flame Tongue after you, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Wasn't that great? I'm not quite the Dark Legion, so I don't know if I'd, I'd survive as, so as quite as well. Anyway, yes. thank you for listening today to Murphy's <laughs> Magic Mess, the Murph Day Show. Uh, stay tuned for a Lavender Hill and the Women's Show and all the other wonderful programming that we have for you here at KZOM. Yes, there is going to be some wonderful stuff on. Oh, there's always some wonderful always. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. And interesting. Yes. What so are we listening to care. underneath? Uh, this is... Dolman, uh, which is real? Yeah, which is real. Off of their winter solstice. Ooh. And, and then a little bit of, of a question answered. <laughs> one of Murph's favorites, one of Mama's favorites, if I recall, one it of Damon's favorites as well. Oh my! I think oh it's my. actually one of all of our favorites. So, so it should be yes. yes. So uh, we're going to be going into that here. Sounds like an excellent yeah, outro. Minutes. Actually, we're probably going to go your, into that keep right your ears about on now. KZUM and keep them, please, out of your pockets. 
Well, well ears? Ears? No, <laughs> don't out text of the and car. drive. Yeah, don't text and drive. Keep your ears and your radio on, Casey. Hands on you ten and two, alive. and your ears on the radio. Stay there alive. You go. And your eyes on the road. Yes. And eyes on the road. Yes. <laughs> keep your eyes. <laughs> All right. So anyway, thanks okay. for listening. Uh, see you next week. Au revoir. Ciao. Bye bye. But. Call it Dragon Lord! Willie Wallace called it Freedom!